Hi everyone, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Today is our final review on the Moto G4, and this is a play edition. A massive thank you to Vodafone for sending me this. First of all, let's show you around the device, then we'll move into speed test, then checking out a movie in our sound and vision, and then also finally specs, and then my personal thoughts on the device. So first of all, like I said, let's begin at the front of the device. On the front, you're gonna see its speaker, which is along here. Next to that, you've got your front facing camera. Then down here at the bottom, you do have a microphone. Turning the phone up like this on the top, you're gonna to find a 3.5 jack. Going down the left hand side, you're not gonna find much at all, it's pretty empty. Turning to the bottom, you're gonna find your micro USB for charging. So on the right hand side here, we're gonna find our volume rockers and our power sleep weight button. And it's nice to see there are different textures here. So it's nice for myself being visually impaired that there are two different textures to know which one's which. Then finally, turning around to the back of the device, we're gonna see our rear facing camera, a mic and the Moto logo there. So next I wanna talk about power and performance. This is the Play Edition, so this does have a little bit higher performance. So this has a quad core processor with 1.2 gigahertz per core. Also, this one is running one gigabyte of RAM. If you have the 16 gigabyte model, you're gonna get two gigabytes of RAM. So please bear that in mind before purchasing. That might change your mind. So for this test, first of all, if we just slide over, the first one I'm gonna run is speedtest.net. We're on Vodafone's signal here. So what I'm gonna do is just open this app and this will show us what speed we will get on our network. And this will change depending where you are and what area you're in. Okay, so we have scored quite an impressive score here. We've got 18 megabytes down and 17 megabytes up. As you can see, we're in a 4G area and that is 4G speed. So I think that's very impressive. So let's move on to Geekbench 4 now. Again, no applications are in the menu. No applications are running, no notifications. And what I'm gonna do is hit Geekbench 4 here. So in Geekbench 4, we do get some of the specs again, like what I've gone through previously. So run test now, and then I'll come back when done. Okay, so now that has finished, I do want to warn you, Geekbench 4 is taking a long time to actually test your device now. So I'm not too sure why this is happening, but I'm using the latest Geekbench 4. So as you can see for a single core score there, we've got 491 and in multi-core score, we've got 1264. This is the highest I have got it out of three different attempts. So sliding down, you're going to find all the actual parts it tested and individual scores it received for this. Moving into single core score here, we can see how we've done. Uh, sadly, I think we were beaten by every single device on here. We will just check. Yes, the nearest competitor is 859 there, and that is the LG Nexus 5. Moving into multi-core score, again sliding down. Sadly, again, the LG Nexus 5 has beaten us there with a score of 1,764 compared to our 1,264. So that was Geekbench 4. This application is in the Google Play Store. Okay, moving on to sound and vision. Now I want to show a movie trailer to show you how well the display is. Remember, it's a five inch display at 720 by 1080p resolution, and it has a front facing speaker, which is up here at the top. So let's jump into a movie trailer and demonstrate that now. I have a movie already preloaded. This is Alice Through the Looking Glass. So let's hit play. Turn this around. Where am I? excitable proto fantasy. Textbook case of female hysteria. We'll have her fixed in no time. Stop her! Die. 
So just coming back home, I think it performs very well. Sounds fantastic, doesn't sound trapped. There's a shame there's not a dual front facing speakers on this device, but it's nice to see the speaker is facing us, not facing away or to the sides or on the back. So we do get great sound and it does look absolutely fantastic for a HD display. It does look really good. So next I want to talk about the specs of this phone. So first of all, it was released in August 2016 this year. The device itself is nice and light. It weighs only 137 grams. Very thin model as well. They've really reduced the thickness of this model now. So it's only 9.9 .9 millimeters thick. So this device is running Android 6.0.1. So it's the latest software available at the moment. It might be able to run seven in a later date and I will update you if I know any more after research. The G4 Play Edition comes in two different size options. You can either have an eight gigabyte or a 16 gigabyte, but there is also a micro SD card slot, which I showed you that you can add up to a 256 micro SD. So you can add a load of storage to your device here for your movies, music, TV shows and games while on the go. The screen is a five inch display, so remember always a diagonal. The resolution is 720 by 1080p and that will give you a pixel rating of 294 ppi. So just turning to the back here, this rear facing camera is an 8 megapixel camera. We've got our flash under there and also this has 1080p full HD video recording. Turning around to the front here, we have a 5 megapixel selfie camera here just at the front. So you will get two gigabytes of RAM with a 16 gigabyte model, but with this model, we only have one gigabyte of RAM. So please bear that in mind before purchase. Battery wise, you're gonna last all day with this. It has a 2,800 milliamp hour battery. So this will last you one to two days maybe, all depends on your usage. With my usage, which is moderate to high, I go through it easily in a day, but I have got a day and a bit of usage out of this, so please bear that in mind. Moving on to the processor of this phone now, so Qualcomm quad-core processor, which is 1.2 gigahertz per core. And it's available on page you go from Vodafone at only 120 pounds, so link in the description, so you can go and check out all these facts for yourself. Any questions or comments, remember to leave them down below, and I'll always get back to helping you. So moving on to my final thoughts of this phone, I've had this now for nearly a week and a half. I really like it. I think it's a real step up from their previous model. I think, if you look at this, I think it's a lot neater, a lot sleeker, a nicer design compared to the G3. So I think it looks more professional. This is a key thing for me. I do like there's two different textures here on the buttons. If I actually bring these up, tilt them this way, you'll see the two different textures. Turning around to the back, this is a great cover. It looks like it's gonna be slippery, but it's not. It gives great feel. And there is a bit of texture there to it. Remember that is a snap-on, snap-off cover. So you can change your battery if the battery is worn out, so which is great. Most of the you can't do that. And you have access to your SIM card and your micro SD card slot behind there. So using the UI on this device for a daily usage with Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, it's been working very well, very fast, been able to change applications very quick, close applications and move through the device. The UI on this device is fantastic because it's running the latest Android and it's near enough pure Android. There's not much of an overlay as we see from Sony, Samsung, HTC, Motorola stick to the very bare bones of Android. And I think that's what makes this device run so well. So for my daily usage going through Twitter, Facebook and YouTube, it's been flying through. I haven't had any issues. 
hasn't stuck anywhere, games have been playing well. Going from last year, the power and performance and even the camera is a great step up. We have an 8 megapixel rear facing camera, that 5 megapixel front facing camera for them selfies. Everyone loves taking selfies these days. Or that great 8 megapixel camera on the back to take them great shots wherever you are. So final thoughts, let me know what you think down below. What do you think about this phone if you maybe have this phone already, been out a couple of months? Let me know what you think down below. It's always great to hear from you. Remember to give a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel as always. And I will be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.